Hey everyone, Ian here. Welcome back. And to everyone who is new, welcome. Today we're going to dive right in. We're going to be talking about the most important thing when making a short film or any film, and that is sound. Sound, sound, sound. I can't say it enough times. This is the thing that is most often overlooked or put on the back burner, and I don't know why. It makes or breaks a film. Uh, so above me, I have the Sennheiser MKH416 shotgun condenser microphone. This is the best microphone, hands down, in my opinion. It is used in most studios all over the world, whether that be film or voiceover. Everybody loves this mic, and for good reason. You can use it anywhere, indoors, outdoors, for anything, you name it. And it's built to last. It's built like a tank. So I have this on a shotgun um, arm on a mic stand on a boom arm, so I don't have to have a boom operator, which is great because I'm, you know, a one-man crew right now making this video. So set it and forget it. Now, when it comes to my lav mic, that is also a Sennheiser. It's uh, made by Apogee, and it's called the Clip Mic Digital. And it has an, a lightning connector that goes into any iOS device, because I use Apple. Um, so I, I put that into an iPod Touch, put it in a body strap, and that's the transmitter for the microphone. Um, it's much cheaper than the other ones Sennheiser has. Those are like six to $700, so... I mean, if you have the money for those, great, but I don't. So I went this route. I got a used iPod Touch, and it works fantastic. Um, with a little EQ and post-processing, um, you can get it to sound just as good if those, as those, if not better. That's what I meant to say. So that being said, you don't want to rely on just one mic because this gives you the best representation of the room that you're in. But this, the lav mic, is what you want to hear more so of because you want as much presence as possible when you're trying to hear what somebody's saying in a film because there's so much, so many other things going on, like, you know, the room tone and the sound effects and music. You need to hear what the people are saying. So in post, I take these two, find the happy medium by like adjusting the levels, and that gives me the best sound possible. And that's what I've been doing for pretty much all of these videos. So I hope you like the sound of that. Um, everything that I use is going to be linked below, so don't worry. And that being said, with the shotgun mic, you are going to need a digital audio converter, and that makes it so the analog signal from this XLR mic can speak to your computer, which is digital. And it converts the signal so you can use it in your digital audio workstation to you know, do the post-processing, the tweaking, to make it sound like a final product. So... That being said, that was just a quick video, guys. I'm going to go way more in depth with everything I talk about, sound, camera, lighting, everything in future videos. I just wanted to get this quick one out there. And please, with the budget that you have, the money that you have, look into getting good sound equipment. You will not regret it. It is worth your time and investment. Trust me. But that's the video, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell to get notified every time a new vlog comes out. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks.